you need to store cornstarch in your prepper pantry and let me tell you why. Hey Provident Preppers, I'm Kylene, and today we're going to talk about cornstarch. Now cornstarch is a very thin um, white flour powdery substance that is made from the endosperm of corn kernels and um, it will literally just about store forever. There's a couple things that make it very valuable. One is its moisture absorbing capabilities and the other is that it's a fantastic thickener. Now cornstarch has very little nutrients. It's pretty much pure carbs with no nutrients in it. And so it definitely is not a primary food storage or food source, but there's a lot of good reasons why I store it and why you might think that it's a good idea to put in your prepper pantry too. We created a video a few days ago and we talked about the four foods that will store forever. Well, I'm gonna answer some of the questions that we received in the comments of that video about cornstarch. So the first one was actually, why is cornstarch important for my storage? Because some people don't use it every day. And so you might think, well, well, why do I need it? The reason I stock up on it is for one, it's very inexpensive. So it's not difficult for me to afford to be able to stock up on the cornstarch. It stores forever. I don't even have to rotate it, but it's hard to produce at home. And so while there are some good substitutes for cornstarch that we'll talk about a little bit later in the video, it, cornstarch is just a good foundational item and it's highly versatile. The second one that kind of is part of the first question is, what do you use cornstarch for? Oh, so many things, especially if we're living in a situation where we, don't, we can't purchase a lot of things. As a thickener in my kitchen, it goes in all kinds of recipes, especially because I cook a lot of gluten-free um, recipes for me and so I can replace the flour and some other things in my recipes easily with cornstarch but it makes great gravy puddings pie fillings I'll take a quart jar like of cherries and drain the juice off mix a little bit of cornstarch in there and heat it up um, and then I can easily just put the cherries back in and I've got pie filling that's fantastic I can control how much sugar is in it um, I can put it on pancakes I can um, actually make a pie or a hundred different uses for pie fillings. So um, I like to use it that way, but you can also thicken soups with it. Just anything that you can think of that you need to make a little bit thicker, you can use it. Then in baked goods. Now this is where, um, I, okay, I, I struggle with it a little bit because it does, it makes the recipe more moist and it's very much a lighter crumb, but it has no nutritional value. And so when you're making gluten-free things, you've got to be really careful to make sure that you're compensating with, with flours that have a lot of nutrition, like um, gluten-free oat flour or amaranth flour or sorghum flour or different flours that, or oh, one of my favorite, chickpea flour. That's a really good one because there's just, there's more protein in it and stuff. So if I use a combination, the final product turns out really good. I made these amazing, chocolate chip muffins, and I actually used lentils in it. It wouldn't have been the same if I didn't have the cornstarch to put in it. So it's, it's really good for baked goods. And then as a coating agent, most of the time when people make fried chicken or bake, oven baked fried chicken or whatever, you're using flour, but you can substitute cornstarch and then it's gluten-free. And it, when you do that with the chicken, it just makes it so much moister and um, crispier and so cornstarch is really good for that but the other thing the other category are personal care items now in the blog post that i wrote i even put recipes for all this stuff but there is um, dry shampoo and body powder um, homemade deodorant face powder body spray baby powder and foot powder so there's just a lot of them remember it absorbs moisture really readily and so it's a really good thing if you are worried about all the different additives in some of your personal care products, um, this might be a good solution. But think about it. Um, when times are tough and you can't just go out and buy stuff, if you have stocked up on cornstarch, then you've got some of the basic ingredients that you need to create some of those personal care products. Number three, where can you buy cornstarch in bulk? So a lot of times, you know, then there's nothing wrong with buying it already in containers. And in the other video I talked about, 
You can buy it, cornstarch actually in plastic containers that will last longer than these cardboard kind of containers. This one I definitely put in a secondary container, but you don't have to have to buy it in bulk. It stores really well in glass jars, or you can buy it in number 10 cans, and this is probably the most expensive way to buy it. But I go to Winco. Um, it's a, just a grocery chain that sells a lot of bulk foods and I can get a really good price on it and buy a big bag of it or I can get a little bit out of their bulk bins. You'd be surprised some of these if you get um, an off brand or a store brand um, it's actually not too expensive and it's already packaged up. You can see from this um, see all the like it, it's just really kind of a mess to work with and so might be worth it to get some of the smaller containers. The fourth question is, I have an allergy to cornstarch because I have an allergy to corn. What can I substitute? So there's arrowroot powder, potato starch, and tapioca starch is one that I keep in a bucket in my kitchen. All of those are our one-to-one -one ratio. So you would use the same amount of those substitutes as you would um, cornstarch. You could also use rice flour, or, um, and that's still a one-to-one. -one. But wheat flour, you actually need twice as much flour as cornstarch in a recipe to achieve the same results. There's also guar gum and then xanthan gum. And with xanthan gum, you just need a tiny, tiny bit. Be careful, don't use anywhere near as much as what you would use of cornstarch. So that's just a quick answer to some of those questions. I do think that cornstarch is a great thing in my storage. I think it would be a fantastic barter item because a lot of people aren't gonna have it. And then I also think that it takes basic staples and just makes them into something delicious. If I just have my bottle of fruit, you know, I can pour it in a bowl and I can eat it or I can put it into a cake or, or muffins or something and I can do it that way. But man, is it nice with just a little bit of cornstarch, then I can make all kinds of different options. And when you're cooking with basics, I think cornstarch is a super good thing to have on hand. And so now for the question of the day, what is your favorite way to use cornstarch? Comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution.